Hello, welcome to my easy statistics. In this video, we will be discussing about correspondence analysis. Correspondence analysis is one of the statistical method in multivariate analysis. Correspondence analysis will allow us to examine the relationship between two nominal variables graphically in a multi-dimensional space. To do this correspondence analysis, I am using an example in which I have two variables, nominal variables, one is product, the other is fragrances. Product variable is given in this table as a rows and fragrances are given as columns. Okay, the researcher want to know the relationship between product and fragrance. That is, if a customer uses a bath soap, what type of fragrance he is expecting from the bath soap? If a customer is using shampoo, what is a preferred fragrance he likes to have in the shampoo. Now we are talking about the relationship between product and fragrances. This table is called correspondence table where we have product and fragrances and we have some values here. These values are called score or called frequency. That is, a customer who is having bath soap, who is using bath soap, want sandal 314 members have selected. That is, number of people who like to have these fragrances, that respondents are being entered here. Bath soap fragrance, rose fragrance, bath soap product, rose fragrance want 148. So in this way, the frequencies are given in this table. Now, the relationship between the product and fragrances are given in a multi-dimensional scale. This is a two-dimensional scale we have here. Where we have, you can see the green color is a product. And the blue color is fragrances. Hair oil and shampoo are coming closer relationship whereas body lotion and deodorant are having close relationship if we carefully observe we'll understand hair oil is having a better relationship with the jasmine fragrance whereas shampoo is having with the menthol if you see the body lotion body lotion has a relation with the lavender and deodorant with rose and you can see here sandal fragrance is more closer with bath soap now this is what correspondence analysis will be useful for to identify the relationship between non parametric variables or nominal variables fragrance and product are nominal variables I'll do this example using SPSS. Okay, this is a SPSS file where I have three variables, fragrance, product and score. The fragrance is having values these are the six values we have and product is having six values. Okay, score is a frequencies. I will show the data view. We can see this data view where we have product bath soap rose fragrance is 148 people want this sort of fragrance in the same way we can see shampoo with rose is 42 
so the table is being entered here in three variables frequency product and score now let me start the process of analysis for correspondence to do this analysis we go for analysis analyze in analyze we go for dimension reduction in dimension reduction we have correspondence analysis okay before i do this i need to do some settings that is score is the frequency so i need to do weight cases for that so before i go for correspondence analysis i want to do weight the cases because different scores are there here so let me start with data let me go to weight cases take frequency and we will weight the cases by score now it's done we have weighted the cases now we'll start the correspondence analysis we go for analyze dimension reduction correspondence analysis in this okay product we take as a row fragrances as column because we want to know the relationship between product and fragrances find the range product has six values 1 to 6 minimum and maximum update it continue in the same way for fragrances also we define the range 1 to 6 update it continue now this is a simple setting we did we took a row as product and column as fra fragrances we'll go for the model in this the normalization method we are using is symmetric and we have number of dimensions in solution is 2 we can even make it to three dimension four dimension but i will discuss in my analysis further why we are taking 2 as a base and the distance measurement uh, we are taking as chi square continue we go for plots bipole bipole is combination of two nominal data i can have only for row that is product or and column separately say continue okay now in this window i have taken product as row column as fragrances the model i have taken dimension as 2 and the normalization method as symmetrical <coughs> plotting by plot i have taken row plot and column plot also we have taken say continue and okay okay this is a correspondence analysis we'll discuss one table after another let us see the first table this table is correspondence table which i already shown in the ppt <coughs> where we have product as rows and fragrances as column so there are some very uh, some respondents who have not answered missing values are also there because all people are not uniform who have responded more people have responded for bath soap <coughs> and uh, less people have responded for hair oil in the same way a rose and jasmine are having high frequency of flavors whereas a lily is having very less so this is what we can 
basically understand by seeing the table <clears throat> more people have answered for bath soaps followed by shampoo very less people have answered for hair oil fragrance also we can see the fancy fragrances people like the more is <coughs> jasmine rose sandal very few people want lily as a fragrance <coughs> okay let us go further to next table this table is uh, where we are going to see proportion of inertia this is important here we have five dimensions one two five dimensions but let us see the inertia how it is going to account for each dimension one after another for the first dimension if you see we have the proportion of inertia is 0.656 means 65 percent inertia it is showing if i go to dimension two it is increasing by 0.205 that is 25 20% is increasing so the total inertia expand is uh, 0.862 if you go to third dimension we can see the uh, counted for inertia is very less that is 0.09 that is 9% only we are getting increase so how many dimensions need to be considered if you ask me we we say generally we go for two dimensions that's why initially i have placed the solution also for two dimensions because two dimensions explaining 86.2 percentage or 0.862 but third dimension does not contribute much so we're not considering the third dimension we can go with the two dimensions first dimension and second dimension only two dimension we are able to see okay now let us come to rows rows means products now this table explains what is the relationship between the product values that is we have different type of products we see this contribution in this first second dimensions we are taking if you see the first dimension shampoo is 0.343 which is close to hair oil this next one is 0.276 that's this is too somewhat closer the distance i'm talking about <clears throat> if we talk about second dimension body soap is totally separate it does not have anything closer to it so here the values explains us how much contribution of points to inertia of dimension more closer the values more they are having relationship good relationship they have they are apart they have very less relationship that's what we can understand from this table the same thing we can see in column values column is fragrances we see rose still lavender same we can understand here also we see sandal which is 0.3 which is close to jasmine okay if you see the sandal there is nothing close to jasmine uh, there is nothing close to sandal it is uh, standing separately okay so this is what we can see the contribution of point to inertia of dimensions these two tables we are talking about row table and column table can be better understood using the graph you can see this is a two dimension table which is for row points for products you can clearly see that hair oil and shampoo are having close relationship body lotion deodorant and face cream this is having close relationship and bath soap is totally towards left bottom corner 
if you see this is to left top corner we have body lotion deodorant and face cream whereas the hair oil and shampoo is in the middle of the right side you can see the point wise also on dimensions we can observe this so hair oil and shampoo customers are taking as closer whereas this three body lotion deodorant face cream as a group and bath soap as a different group let us see the same thing for fragrances okay what we understand is jasmine and lily fragrances people treating closer lavender and rose also having better relationship whereas sandal is standing totally apart from other fragrances and menthol is towards positive side towards right bottom side sandal is towards left bottom that is towards negative side it is and sandal is towards positive side but what we understand the relationship is that lily and jasmine are closer and lavender and rose are close sandal is totally apart from other group and menthol is also apart is is a separate now let us see the combination of both nominal variables that is fragrance and product okay this is what i shown in the beginning of my video in ppt we see this in a multi dimensional space hair oil jasmine and shampoo with menthol is having relationship we can see majority of customers said bath soap related to sandal fragrance so this can be used by the company to manufacture bath soap majority they must go for sandal wood fragrance when you talk about hair oil they must uh, uh, go with the fragrance of jasmine and you can see body lotion is having close relation with uh, lavender and uh, deodorant with uh, rose even face cream also customers are taking as a rose this correspondence analysis is useful for having relationship between nominal variables in a multi dimensional space this correspondence analysis is very useful in research especially in marketing research i hope this video is helpful thank you